Oh Lord have mercy, I'm about to shoot myself. Ladies, men, women, anything in between, I have come across a very tragic tale. One I wish to share with the great people of the internet. That is you listening to this video. Thank you very much. We gained like 30 subscribers in like three days. That's given me an extremely hard thing in my underpants, so thank you for that. However, enough about my genitalia. We are here to... Oh God, this clip. So it's about an OnlyFans woman who... I'm not going to spoil it because I'm not, not a nasty man. However, they basically... Basically, she had this subscriber for many years and it turned out to be someone very close to her that she did not see. We're going to be watching this. We'll break it up into little pieces. I will give you my input because I know that's what all you care about. My uh, intelligent opinions and big brain thoughts. So let's just... Pu 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 not, not playing through my headphones. I had had this subscriber almost since the beginning. He had spent around 2000 Australian dollars for... So this lady's called Talia Madison. I'm actually looking for Taylor. She likes to, uh, she's an Australian lady. And basically she had, does OnlyFans. So she sells her bum and her boobies for uh, money, basically. And she decided to come on this uh, TV show and tell us all about it. Which is, you know, just free advertisement. Let's not get this wrong. This is just her. And I get some more clicks on them bloody breasts. For every single thing that I sent him, we chatted every day on there. I mean, he had a very specific username that was not a like automatically generated one or anything like that and an account with the same username had viewed my TikTok profile when I could see who was viewing it at the time. So, already Detective Inspector Cluedo over here is doing some uh, research. So basically, she found out that this person basically spent thousands on her uh, pics, which is just obscene, isn't it, really, when you can just search it on Google and get it for free, but people like old and idiots. But she basically put two and two together and realised that this actually might be someone she knows. Um, and, yeah, so I had the exact same username. Can we just say, though, she seems very smiley and very... Very chirpy. I know what the outcome of this is, and you can probably work out it as well. Or you might have even seen the clip. But she seems very chirpy and very uh, in a positive mood, considering what the big bombshell, the nuclear explosion's about to be. And it said from your contacts, and my heart just sank into my Ooh. stomach, and I was like, I don't have that many phone numbers in my phone. I know who this person is, and he has spent this much money on my account, seen everything. And I just sort of went into super detective mode and I said, I need to find out who this is. So she found, basically, it said from your contact. So it was clearly someone who had linked up her number, his number, or their number. Spoilers. Da -da -da -da. Linked up their number to the TikTok account, which was the same username as the OnlyFans account. Obviously, if you're going to do this, which is just retarded in the first place, but if you were going to do this, you should be a bit more careful. You know, I would probably uh, not put your phone number in. Probably a clever idea. And also use a different username. Be a bit more Inspector Cluedo about it can we please went through all of the contacts in my phone i crossed out anybody who had a established tiktok account and crossed out the people that said invite to tiktok and i was left with six names it was a couple of guys from school one girl from school someone's mum and my stepdad and i had just thought okay it could be those guys but i feel like they would have told me like they always message me happy birthday it's not going to be them it's not going to be my girlfriend it's not going to be this mother it has to be my stepdad Wow. Oh, so as you can just see, she's basically put it to it was it was not a mum, not whoever, it was her stepfather. Guys, but I feel like they would have told me, like they always message me happy birthday. It's not going to be them. It's not going to be my girlfriend. It's not going to be this mother. It has to be my stepdad. Wow. <laughs> Just horrible. Oh my god, imagine you do this, so you do all that, this, that, and the other, and suddenly this number appears, and you are, oh god, your your family, your stepdad has spent thousands on your account. Thousands. Thousands. That is some sick individual weirdo. So I went out on a limb and messaged the account on OnlyFans, and I said, I know who this is, and he responded saying, who, question mark, babe, you don't know. And I then hit back pretty quickly and I said, you need to tell her before my sister and I do. And with Her being your mum? Yeah, being my mum. And within two minutes, I got a text message from my stepdad saying, Tay, are you free to talk? Oh my God. Game over. The man's career, the man's relationship is done. He's been caught, bound to be spending thousands on his stepdaughter's OnlyFans. This is just absolutely catastrophe. It is mind-blowingly weird that this has happened, but it's no surprise. It's not a shock in the slightest. I am not shocked at all. <laughs> there are some weird, sick individuals and, well, today we found one. Not only has he caught, been caught paying for OnlyFans of a 
relative it was his stepdaughter i mean that is just terrible that is just so out of this world bananas batshit crazy i cannot believe it but at the same time oh just how, how stupid you have to be a to do it but also to then get caught you think you do it secretly i mean what what does she what's she done what does she do you know what i mean like imagine that conversation with your mum oh by the way your partner pays for my only fans jesus imagine that conversation must be the most awkward thing in the world i, I honestly i'm i'm starstruck it's truly a sad state of affairs for this family but at the same time that's what you get for doing only fans there's risks and rewards what what do you want in life it's it's a hard decision it's a hard career can you even call it a career i don't call it a career not at all anyway look i wanted to just run through this very quickly because i i think it's a fucking hilarious story imagine the shot on that mother's face i wish i saw that i'd pay 50 quid just to see that fuck the only fans i want to see their mum's reaction set up a camera in the corner and tell her oh god terrible terrible absolutely sad sad individual anyway i'm gonna leave it there thank you so much for all the support it's been crackers absolutely nuts so thank you take care and uh i'll catch you lights in the next one